Turn Signal with Kim Troby. Do we believe in the sanctity of all human life, or do we believe in the sanctity of some human life? That one question characterized the struggle that took place in Florida in 2005. Terry Schindler Schivo, a severely disabled woman, was at the center of a bitter battle between a husband who wanted to remove her feeding tube and her family, Terry's brother, Bobby Schindler. We didn't think any court would ever decide um, to remove Terry's feeding tube to have her starve and dehydrated to death when there was a family that was willing to take her home and care for her. Yet that's exactly what happened. Terry's feeding tube was removed for good on March 18, 2005. She died 13 days later. She wasn't sick. She was just disabled. How, why would anybody just starve her to death? She had very profound brain injuries. I mean, you would not expect her to respond like a normal person. That didn't mean she had to die. Kathy McReynolds is the director of the Public Policy Center at the Christian Institute on Disability and says recent medical advances are forcing the church's hand. Medical technology is standing at the, at the door of the church and knocking, saying, you know, we now can take, take over, thank you very much. And we will make decisions concerning who will live and who will die. I think that they have drawn the line and the, that the church now has to step up to the plate and say, wait a minute. Terry's family has formed the Terry Schindler Schiavo Foundation to help fight for those who can't fight for themselves. If you'd like more information about the documentary, go to terrysfight.org.